Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. So in this lesson, we are going to begin to fill out these functions and we'll begin with fight intro initialize. Now what we're going to do, we're going to set the booles and whichever audio is applicable to start or set to true in the function beforehand just before it actually changes states so in this case for the initialize we'll come inside the function we'll say underscore displaying ground equals true close that line off into the comments set displaying round to true and we'll come below here, we'll say if open and close brackets, inside the brackets, round counter double equals one. Let's get that into the comments. So we'll say if round counter equals one, we'll come to the next line, we'll say underscore and we want fight intro audio source dot play one shot open and close brackets close that line off inside the brackets the audio clip we want to play in which case it'll be underscore round one announcement so let's get that into the comments and we'll just say then play round one announcement and we'll come below here so let's copy that twice more and we'll just change this out to round counter equals two and finally for three And we just need to change the audio source. We'll, we'll change that to two and this one to three. Okay, with that done, I'll just quickly tidy up the comments. So once we've done that, we need to change the state. So we'll say fight intro state is going to equal fight intro we want fight intro state dot fight intro fade in round so let's close that line off into the comments so we'll say you set fight intro state to equal the fight intro fade in round okay with that done we can move on to the next state so we're setting display round to true so we can display a GUI we're playing the applicable audio for the round announcement and then we switch to this state now at this point we need to fade in that text so we're going to say underscore fight and intro fade value we're going to say plus equals the fight intro and we want the fade speed times time dot delta time let's close that line off into the comments so we'll say we got we want to increase the fight intro fade value by the fade speed okay with that in place we need to create an if block so we'll say if open and close brackets inside the brackets underscore and we want fight intro fade value and if it's greater than one 
let's put this into the comments. So we'll say if ferrite intro fade value is greater than one, then all we're going to do is make that fade value equal to one. So we'll do that and we'll put into the comments. We've done this quite a lot of times during this tutorial, so nothing new here. So we'll say set, then set fight intro fade value to equal one. So let's come below. And now we want if open and close brackets inside the brackets fight intro fade value double equals one. Let's get this into the comments. So we'll say if fight intro fade value is equal to one. And again, we've done this plenty of times. We make sure that we have a perfect value of one if it tries to count past it we just reset it back to one and then if it does equal one when it hits this line of code we need to do some things and in fact let's come here and we'll open and close brackets and we'll say underscore displaying fight this time to true let's close that line off we set displaying round here this now we're displaying fight as well. <clears throat> so let's get this into the comments. So we'll say set displaying fight to true. We'll come here. We'll say underscore fight intro audio source dot play one shot open and close close that line off inside the brackets and as i said we're going to call the audio clip just before it changed states so we're changing to the fight intro announcement so we need to play the fight announcement audio clip let's put this into the comments play the fight In fact, I'll just put fight announcement audio clip. Let's come here. And if that's all true, we can change state. So let's just copy that change state line from the previous function. We'll paste that in. And now we need to change to this state the fight intro announcement let's just break this line up for commenting i'll cut the comment there paste that in the top line set the fight intro state to equal the fight intro announcement and I've just missed an N there. So that's them two functions done. Let's just save that off. And let's come in here. We're going to say underscore fight intro. And we want the fade value again. We're going to say minus equals. So the fight is starting now. We're going to say fight intro fade speed, but we want it to fade out faster because the fight is starting. So we'll say the fight intro fade speed times two times time dot delta time. And we'll close the line off there. Into the comments, we'll say decrease fight intro fade value by fade speed and yes we may need to change this value here when we come to testing the script out and we're actually getting pretty close to that now we still have some more code 
down here for these functions. And yes, we will need code in this script that will basically nullify the player input and the opponent AI until the fight starts. So that's coming in the future videos, or should I say the upcoming, the next videos, that's when we'll be working on that. And after we get that done, we can actually then begin to test out everything we've done up to this point, up to the fight beginning. And then we can start working on things like the AI, which I know a lot of you are looking forward to. So, yes, we are going to uh, test all this out very soon. But for now, we've still got a lot of code to get in place before we can. So, as always, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope to see you next time. And until then, as always, bye for now.